Communities all over the country are sandbagging to protect themselves from the predicted floods. That's become big business for a small factory in Johnson County. Chris Hernandez shows us who's making the machines that fill sandbags faster. Workers tighten bolts in the final assembly stage. With only 20 employees, the company hired extra help this summer. It also has people on overtime to rush production of sandbag machines, like the one we've shown you being used in Parkville this week. It fills 25 to 30 sandbags a minute. It's gratifying. It, it's, it, it really is to, to be able to use it this close to home and, and be of help to Parkville over there. Mike Simmons owns Express Scale Parts. The flood season dramatically ramped up demand for his machines. Our machine could do the work of 60 people filling shovels. From here in Shawnee, they've sold sandbag machines across Missouri and down the Mississippi all the way to Louisiana. They've even sold some in Canada. But the biggest challenge has been convincing officials in river towns everywhere that their new sandbag sandbag machine design is better than old ones because it doesn't clog as much. And I sort of sketched this machine out on a cocktail napkin, literally. And Simmons thought up the new design a couple of years ago and built it here. The real key to it is, is a consistent bag so you get a really good stack. In Parkville, reporter Lindsay Shively shows how easy it is to use. All right, look her up and it goes on down. One more. Sandbag machines are only a small part of the business here, but it's suddenly become an important player in defending towns from floods. In Shawnee, Chris Hernandez, NBC Action News. While the machine being used in Parkville is rented through the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, other cities in flood-prone areas often buy a sandbag machine.